guys, we're going to do uh, three to five minutes. Maybe, maybe pretty quick, but the floor is yours. So you look fast, light, and uh, that seems to be the, the game plan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's it, right? It's, it's too late now. <laughs> The, the diplomacy has failed. I offered him to forfeit the fight, but he passed. <laughs> now we got to fight. Joe, what weight will you weigh on, uh, on fight night? Um, under 220, hopefully closer to 214. I haven't weighed in a couple of weeks, but I, I think that's right. Was there any, I mean, was, did that require any kind of special preparation, or is that just kind of your typical walk around weight? Uh, yeah, kind of, I was walking about 224, 222, so I tried to get some, some weight off. I feel like I move a little better, conditioning is a little better. Um, I haven't checked, but I bet I'm, I bet I'm right. Two eighteen, two fourteen. Have you seen Rampage yet this week? Because I haven't seen him. Have you, have you crossed paths? No, and I've been very curious. I, I saw him about thirteen days ago, because um, I'm curious what he weighs. It's a it kind of a sign of, you know, his conditioning too. So uh, no, I haven't seen him yet. Interesting. You've been a part of so many big fights in your career, but this being such a unique opportunity. I wonder what this moment feels like, you know, the anticipation, the thought, being a part of something unique like this. Yeah, uh, you know, world title fights, just, they just don't come along. Those opportunities are just very tough. And, uh, you know, so you get, get to be part of a tournament. I prefer tournaments. Um, sport is so much politics, you know, it's very tough to get into those spots. And that's just the history of combat. But, you know, when you got a bunch of guys telling Coker they're all the toughest, and he goes, well, hell with it. I'll just put you all in a tournament, whoever's left standing. Put the belt around. It's it's a pretty fair way to do things. Charlie, you, you said to me um, about ten days ago. The truth is, you don't really know what you're getting into in this, with yourself being one of the lightest men in the competition. Um, do you think it, it could potentially get something special out of you, though, in what might be the last run in your career? Yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. I mean, looking on the brighter side, but. Uh, yeah, I, just, I don't fully know what to make of, of, of the size. I don't have a lot of training partners that are, are that size. I don't have a lot of experience with it, but uh, I, I'm fine with it. I like it, uh, and it, but it is something new for sure. But did you find that when you were, you have mentioned that when you were trying to take them down is a different task. Sure. Um, but have you found that it's getting something special out of you at your age, what you've been through, all these things, you know? Uh, I, you know, I don't know how I would word it, but I, I mean, it's different. I like, I like that there's a, you know, I've done this 49 times and it's, it's, it has been the same a lot, uh, good and bad, but um, yeah, there's something new here, something new. Do you think it's a one-off or do you think this is something that the company should keep with? Oh, I hope they keep with it. A tournament, tournament is just the most fair way to do things. It takes the politics out, which is tough. On the business side of things, you've got to put on the big fights. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just think people understand tournaments. You know, from the NFL to the Olympic Games to the NCAA, brackets and tournaments are, are fair. It's a fair architecture. Fairness doesn't have a lot to do with life in general. You know, I'm not, I'm not a big harper on fair, but it is. In this case, it is. I know you're dialed into your fight, but do you have any thoughts on Liam McDonough? A lot of people think that maybe determine the best welterweight in the world. I love it. I can't wait. Um, Rory is so good, but Douglas is, is the champion, and he's the most slighted champion I've ever seen. All the stuff Tyron Woodley says really happens to Lima. It really does happen to Douglas, but, you know, he's a nice guy, and the only thing coming out of his mouth is a smile, never any curse words. So because he's such a gentleman, people overlook him, you know? Happened to St. Pierre, too. It's just a reality of the sport. But I, I think it's a big coming out party for him. Uh, I think he could lose that fight and still still show his skills and make people go, oh, wow, I get it now. You're really good. Chad David said that uh, any fight with Chuck Liddell was, was a dead issue. When I spoke to him yesterday, and he's still leaving the door open a little bit for a possible return. Any interest from you in that? Uh, you know, I spoke to him yesterday, too. Really? I was on the uh, Rich Eisen show. And I come in the, the, the dressing room, and there was Chuck. And it was heated, <laughs> yes, face to face, and it was awkward. And uh, you know, I was doing Eisen, and he told me, uh, "You got a message for Chuck. He'll he'll be here tomorrow." So I gave a message to Chuck, thinking he would be there tomorrow. Turned out, old <laughs> Chuck was in the back watching it on the monitor oh. with my mother. So you know, my mom and uncle had to get involved, and it was just a big colossal. Separated. And I, yeah, and separate. I had to go one way, and Chuck had to go the other, and it was weird. But I don't think there's anything there. I don't think he's going to fight again. I didn't ask him point blank because we were too busy yelling at one another. But uh, he looked good. I'll give, I'll give him. I mean, he looked like he was in shape. But I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. But you'd be up for it, though, would you? I'm up for it right now. I'm ready to go. I was gonna, I'm ready to fight him yesterday in the green room. 
would have reached right over my mother. Did you recognize him? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I saw that on the internet. It was actually growing back. The, the mustache shave, yeah, it was growing back. Yeah. He was, he was not pleasant to talk to, but he did look good. I mean, he looked like he was in shape. What, about, what did he say? Oh, you know, he, he, see, here's the thing with Chuck, is he, uh, Chuck is a seemingly very nice guy. Everyone I talk to that knows, he's a seemingly gentleman. But he came through the competition era. We're in the entertainment era. And some of those guys, you know, they get offended a little easier. Or the, the table that they helped set, and he did in fairness, has changed. And, and it, they feel like it changes their legacy, and they, they feel left out. And he was just pissed. I mean, what am I supposed to do? F One or two more, yes. Let him be pissed. What do I care about? Chuck. Chuck's feelings. Do you see a surprising uh, amount of no smack talk going against Quentin? What do you attribute that to? <sighs> Rampage and I had heat, and it was it was a number of years ago, and. Uh, I just assume we pick up where we left off, and I was with him a couple weeks ago, and uh, and we just did it. But it's, it's a different feel too. I wasn't main event. I didn't have the obligation of carrying the card and selling the tickets. It, it was a totally different spot. And I never thought of myself as a trash talker, but a truth talker. And if I don't mean it, I won't say it. And uh, I just don't have any. Rampage was a, a, a decent guy. As far as tournaments go, though, you know, it, it, there is no fuse. There is no. Pro you just advance against whoever else advances. You know, somebody asked me if I win this fight, am I going to call out Fedor? But it doesn't work that way. If I win this fight, then Fedor's got to beat Frank Mir, and we go from there. So, uh, Do you have any, uh, synced up jokes for Rampage right now? No, I don't have anything. No, <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll see him Saturday, though. Well, your stand-up looks great. So I appreciate that. I Thank you. Just working on that. you. Thank bet, you. That's right. Yeah. You Thank you. You bet you $10,000 for takedown. Did you ever come up with another half to the wager? No, we never did. I don't even know if you can call that a bet. I mean, I, I felt like it was just a... <laughs> Uh, this is what I'll do, you know, this is what I'll do. I didn't, I didn't take it too serious, but uh, I am told by his people that he means it. He's a man of his word and he'll write the check, so. How we'll much do you think you're going to collect? <laughs> three. three. Three, one, one per, per round. round. Yeah. I'm not positive I can get him down, but I promise you, if I do, he will not get up. Is that how more or less you're expecting the fight to go? Yep. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to get him down and, and hold him there. That's it? I think so. Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank thanks, you, Jeff. Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff.